Greetings Internet and welcome back for another early morning. Well, not much to say today. Um, I had a pretty nice weekend. I got to hang out with my buddies. Got myself a nice four day weekend. It was so awesome. Um, and for those of you who are like, well, how'd you pull off that miracle? Well, my co-workers and I pulled off getting our 40 hours for the week done by Thursday. So we had Friday off, Saturday and Sunday, obviously, because we don't usually work on Saturdays and Sundays. And then Monday, doubly obviously, because it was the 4th of July. But again, four day weekend was so, so nice. Um, and then on Saturday, I want to say it was, or Friday, I'm not entirely sure which one it was, because it was a long weekend. I got to try a new food item from Burger King. I got to try the Mac and Cheetos. And yeah, here's my personal take on the Mac and Cheetos. They taste pretty good, but if you can get them fresh, I'm sure they're a lot better than the experience I had. Mind you, I got these things twice. Once with my friends, once with my sister, and both times, it, it, it wasn't fresh. Essentially, you get five of these things in one of these dinky little boxes for $2.59, which is a decent price considering the things are about the size of a mozzarella stick, but shaped like a Cheetos puff. And to elaborate on what I mean by getting them fresh. Um, you expect something like mac and cheese to be, you know, kind of goopy, you know, like the cheese is kind of oozy and whatnot. When I had them, the cheese was like congealed. It was like a... not quite what it's supposed to be, is what I'm saying. It was like kind of doughy. That's the word I'm looking for. So... Yeah, and it, the first time I had it, anyone else out there who's had, like, fast food mozzarella sticks, you know how you can tell when it's been sitting under a heat lamp for too long? You know, that weird old food flavor, but it's still warm kind of deal? It had that going on for it the first time. The second time was slightly better, so I guess I got it, like, a half hour fresher than the first batch, but still. I would give it one more shot to try and get it fresh. Beyond that, the price is good, the amount you get is good, but the quality of the product, depending on when you get it, is meh. My next quote-unquote food review thing I'm going to do here real quick is also part of my obligatory what I'm having for breakfast, and that would be Ninja Turtle cereal. Well, as it shows on the box, the cereal is just, you know, these little face shapes, which are kind of creepy in and of themselves. But the faces are all different colors to match the headbands of the four turtles. And they're decent size for the cereal bits that they are. Like, here, grab a random Leonardo. About the size of a dime, maybe a little bigger. And these themselves aren't bad because, you know, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup. But compared to the really sugary, sweet, syrupy cereals, this one's lacking a bit. But again, well, actually, I haven't even said anything yet. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. They're decently crunchy. If you can hear it on camera, which I'm sure you can. Essentially, it's the consistency of cookie crisp. Without the chocolatey chip cookie flavor. And they're all fruit flavors, if you aren't already aware of that by the fact that they're all, you know, 
nice orange and blue and purple and reds. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to let Foxy do my outro today. With that being said, mateys, kawabunga, and I'll be seeing ye in the next video. Bye-bye.